This video will assess normality of some data with a histogram and the normal quantile plot. So here's a procedure for determining whether it is reasonable to assume that a sample data are from a population having normal distribution. One is to look at the histogram. So construct a histogram, and we'll do that in StatCrunch. If the histogram departs dramatically from a bell shape, conclude that the data do not have normal distribution. So we like to do that, and we like to look at the normal quantile plot. If the histogram is basically symmetric and the number of outliers is 0 or 1, use technology to generate a normal quantile plot, applying the following criteria to determine whether the distribution is normal. Normal distribution, the population distribution, is normal if the pattern of the points is reasonably close to a straight line and the points do not show some systematic pattern that is not a straight line. So these points look close to this straight line and there's no pattern that just like rises and falls and, and makes it a, a pattern that seems to be um, going to be continuing to be followed. Not a normal distribution. The population distribution is not normal if either of these two conditions applies. The points do not lie reasonably close to this line. The points show some type of systematic pattern that is not a straight line pattern. So here's our histogram showing a relatively normal histogram and then lying close to the line, right? Okay, and then there are the outliers here. We're not going to be too concerned about it, but we should identify outliers. Our data are not going to have the outliers. And if there's more than one outlier present, we can conclude the data might not have a normal distribution. So just one outlier could be an error and result of a chance of variation, so we have to be careful with this. Histogram, normal quantile plot, so we still use it if it has one outlier, zero or one. So our data, we will be just using these two and just practicing making conclusions based off the histogram and normal quantile plot. Open stat crunch. Now we're going to do the histogram first. Graph, histogram, choose the column it's in, right? And then just leave it as it is, as the frequency, compute. So this kind of makes it, puts in the, the values for you, and we can kind of see if it's a normal curve. Mm, it's looking, it was looking, it's looking good here, and then it dropped off significantly here, but here, but the highest was about in the middle. Let's look at that um, quantile plot now. You go into stat, or sorry, we go into graph and do a QQ plot. It's called. We hit click your selection here. And now you want normal quantiles on the y-axis. You want to make sure that's clicked. And then click Compute. And then you get a graph of line, just like this. So I guess these are all good. And these are a little further away, but they're mostly t t on the line. And this mostly looks normal distribution. This bar would have been up a little further. It would have looked great, right? So since this these points follow the line and there's no systematic pattern of them and they're reasonably close here and this distribution here uh, looks normal in general for the most part we could we we say is the requirement for the normal normal distribution satisfied yes and here they say the points in the normal quantile plot lie reasonably close to the straight line and I would add that the histogram looks like a normal distribution so these are the things you want to look at when you're uh, comparing. Let's see if we can do one where it's not. Okay, here's um, car details for 2019 models. This is StatCrunch data that they have in StatCrunch. And I'm going to go over here and look at the lowest MSRP. Okay, that's the price. And let's go ahead and see if this data would be considered to be normally distributed, right? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to just create a histogram. I'll let it go, choose lowest MSRP. Just like we did, click Compute. Okay, there's the histogram. That data is not looking normal, right? That's not a normal graph. Let's see what the QQ plot looks like. QQ plot for assessing normality. We need to select the lowest MSRP. Then we click on Normal Quantiles. Click a button. And yep, this is obviously a pattern, right? Look at that. It's not following the line, it's not reasonably close, way off, way off. And it actually looks like it's very making some sort of pattern here. So as we can see from this, it should be pretty clear that this, door, this data is not normally distributed.